We praise, thank you, Lord. God, we honor you. God, we bless you. God, we praise you. What a service we are having. Thank you, Lord. Crossover to take over service 2023. Jehovah, thank you that we are crossing over to take over. Crossing over for 2023 into 2024 to take over our possessions. Daddy, we are so grateful. We thank you. We just thank you and we bless you. What a service. Thank you, Father God, for arousing praise and worship. My God, awesome. Thank you, Father God, for the testimonies and the thanksgiving of what you have done for us, individually, in family, and, and in collectively as a church in 2023. Father God, it instills and inspires faith in us to trust and believe for, for, for more in 2024. God, we are grateful. By the grace of God, church, I welcome everybody again and all, all of our friends and partners and donors and family members all over the world connecting with us through YouTube and Facebook or other streaming service, whatever it may be. Welcome to the service of the Lord. This is our crossover 2023 service. We are crossing over to take over in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. It's going to be an awesome year. Before I decree and, and declare the word that God has given to us, I'd like to just establish the basis, amen, why we, why we hold firmly to the word of God, particularly for this kind of transition from the old year to the new year. It's amazing. It's almost 11.30 GMT, 11.30 p.m., obviously, GMT. In half an hour or so, we'll be in the new year. It's not by our dream. It's by God's grace and mercy. And so our collective and individual testimony is this, that God has been so good to us. He's been so faithful, so merciful, so gracious, and so kind to have helped us and allowed us and carried us through on his e e e e e e ego's wings on his e he's the great ego carrying us on his ego's wings from 1st of january into now 31st of december turning soon in a matter of minutes into 1st of january 2024 a new year a new season of opportunities father we thank you and so let me say to you, to, uh, people of God, that for us in, in this house, God has given us a prophetic word for 2024. Amen. And God has told us, to him be all the glory, that 2024 for us is our year of divine expansion. I don't know where you are, stagnated. I don't know where you were, stuck. But God says there's going to be movement and progress. God says you are going to be expanding to the left and to the right. You're not going backward. You're going to go forward. You're going to spread out like the eagle and go forward. The eagle never flies back but flies forward. And I believe God that you and I, in Jesus' name, like the eagle, we will spread out our wings, expand to the left and to the right, and then fly forward, move forward in life, move forward in ministry, move forward in our families, in our faith, in our hope, move forward in our health, move forward in our healing, in our deliverance, move forward in our salvation, in everything that God has so graciously blessed us. So for us in this house, 2024 is our year of divine expansion. And for all of our friends and supporters and donors and those who are, who are connected with us all over the world, as you associate with us, this same grace and anointing upon us shall also be, yes, your portion in Jesus' name. And so for you and your house, whatever you may be, for as long as you are connected with us, for as long as you are with us, maybe virtually at any services, God is also saying to you, 2024 is your year of divine expansion. Why am I saying that? I'm saying that because the word of God says so. I'm grateful to God. And in this house in KGC, he may God speaks to us. He spoke to my heart a few weeks ago. Whenever October time, I think it was, as I was asking questions on the Sunday morning, preparing, praying and preparing to come to church for the service. And God said to me to go to Isaiah 54. Three times he said it. Read Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54. And the third time, Isaiah 54. So I went and read Isaiah 54. And from that, God began to speak to my heart that this is the year, the word of the prophetic word for year 2024, divine expansion. Amen. And of course, he gave us a witness. My beautiful queen, my co-pastor, God gave her a dream, a vision, where God showed her 
my God, bountiful harvest, abundant increase. Wow. And then as he shared that vision and dream with me and the family and the church, I had a strong witness that that is a confirmation of the word that God gave to me from Isaiah 54. And so out of the matter of two or three witnesses, everyone is established. I got a scripture and she got a vision, a dream from God. So two pillars of witnesses that to us in this house, KGC, and for everyone that is connected to us or associated with us, God is saying to us that 2024 is our year of divine expansion. Oh. Hallelujah. Are you ready to expand? You are going to, please see, please picture the eagle flying. The eagle never flies back when he flies forward with the wings expanded. It does not even flap. It just leverages the storm and the turbulence of the air and the, and, and the wind carries it. But if you look at it, the wings are spread and then he's just forward, going forward. And so for somebody, God is going to spread you out to the left, to the right. Oh, God is going to expand you out to the left and to the right. Not to go backward, but to go forward to destiny, to the promise of God, to the prophecy, to the dream, to the vision, to that godly inspiration that is inside of you, that you are waiting for God to bring to pass. I hear God saying that 2024 shall be your year of change for the better, change for progress, change for increase, change for prosperity in the name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. Your year, my year, 2024, is, it is not going to be, it is a year of divine expansion. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So what, what do, let me take us back to Isaiah. I mean, there's so many scriptures jumping into my spirit, but hey, <laughs> let's take it one at one, one, let's take one at a time. Amen. Isaiah chapter 54 verses 1 is, it, it, as a matter of fact, it's the whole chapter. If you ask me, it's the whole chapter. Well, let's just read um, just the first few verses. Amen. Thank you, Jehovah. In Isaiah 54, verse 1, you read in your Bibles. Sing, O barren. Amen. Sing, O barren. What, 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 what a word. I mean, you, come on, people, let's be honest. We, we want to sing with and rejoice with those who have, who have testimonies, who are making it. Who, we want to, I mean, come on, isn't it? Come on, you know what I mean? People are giving testimonies. They bought a house, they bought a car, their child is graduating, and all of these things, you know. But the Bible is not talking to it says, sing, oh barren. Barren means desolate. Barren means no fruit, no fruit. It's like a barren woman who has not been able to carry a child. Like Elizabeth was once upon a time. Like Sarah was before uh, uh, she, she gave birth to Isaac. Barren, desolate, childless. So sing, O barren, you who have not born. Break forth into singing and cry aloud. How, how can a barren woman be singing and, and praying and, and praising? You who have not, you know, there's no substance to, to, to say, oh, that is my testimony. I got a child. I got, you know, this fruit. And then God introduces the twist. For more are the children of the desolate or the barren or the childless woman than the children of the married woman, says the Lord. For somebody in 2024, your change is coming. You have dwelt long enough on this mountain, Deuteronomy chapter 2. It is time, amen, to change location from, from fruitlessness to fruitfulness. From barrenness, amen, ah, to abundance, from being desolate to being ah, walking in surplus and abundance in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sing, O barren, you have not born. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, for you have not labored with child, for more are the children. He says, You who have not labored with child. So there's no there's no evidence you ever you ever have a fruit, but God is saying, even though you may be barren right now, a change is coming. So for somebody in Jesus' name, 2024 is your year of divine change. 
And of course, as a church, we are believing God for divine change in terms of our location. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christi, as we call him. Listen, church, verse 2 says, Enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Do not spare, lengthen your cords and strengthen your sticks. Four key instructions. Enlarge the place of your, of your tent. Let them stretch out the curtains of your, of, your, of your dwellings. Do not spare. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your sticks. For you shall expand to the right and to the left. I call that double-sided blessing. This is the blessing of God. That it is not just on one side, the right hand side. No, it's double-sided. You will carry this one with your two hands, not one hand. It is too heavy. It is too, it is too, it is substantial. It is, it is huge. You know, come on, people, there are things you carry with one hand, even the one or two fingers, you just pick it up. But when you come to something that is heavy, you need both hands. Expect 2024 to be a year of heavy duty, heavy with blessing, double-sided, two hands to carry blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. For you shall expand to the right and to the left, and your descendants will inherit the nations. Oh, it is not even just you. Your descendants, meaning this one from 24, is going to be generational blessings in the, in the name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. And make desolate the cities that are inhabited. There are places that, that need your presence, that need you. Your children, your fruit, there will be evidence of your work. Amen. Going to this place that didn't have it. God will take you far. Yes, physically in the one location, but your, your story, your testimony perhaps, your work perhaps, your, 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 your praise report perhaps shall go forth so that your descendants will inherit nations. Those who believe in you, your story, they will also have your kind of miracle, your kind of blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And of course, they will inhabit those places where they didn't have your kind of blessing from before. I like to read further. Verse 4 says, Do not fear, for you, shall not, you will not be ashamed. For somebody is going to be saying, How is this going to happen? Well, God has said it, we believe it, and that settles it in Jesus' name. Neither will you be disgraced, for you, not, you will not be put to shame. For you will forget the shame of your youth when nothing has been happening, when you were barren or desolate. And you will remember the report of your widowhood no more. You don't remember it anymore. Verse 5, for your maker is your husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. Your redeemer is the only one of Israel. He is called the God of the whole earth. I will stop in verse number number, <laughs> number 5. Amen. <laughs> Church, for your maker is your husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. Your redeemer is the only one of Israel. He is called the God of the whole earth. That is why we can rest assured that the God of the whole earth has said that while the earth remains, amen, 2024, this time of life, is your year, my year, of divine expansion. I'm grateful to God that he has not left us without the world. As a matter of fact, the world came with a witness. We have a witness of a vision of abundance that God sent to us in this house. So I am, I am, I am excited at what God has said to us. And so, as we as we look at the text again, God speaks to His people, Israel through Isaiah. He uses, he uses metaphors or motifs or figures of speech or what we call symbolic language. The desolate or barren or childless woman represents us, you and I, who are praying, waiting on God for something to happen. We don't have any fruits to give in that regard. The woman is married, but she has no child. Married, yes. Husband, yes. Have a house, yes, but no child. No fruit of the womb to give us evidence, you know, as a testimony, nothing to show. There are many of us today married to the Lord. Yes, we are the bread of Christ, but the fruit we are waiting for, the, the, the substance to give evidence, yes, of our faith in God is not there. 
We are waiting for that thing or that thing or the other thing. I don't know what it is with you. For us as a church, we know where we are, our journey. We Come on. I don't know to repeat the obvious, do I? It's like desolation, barrenness. It's like fruitlessness. And so that represents somebody who does not have not seen much growth or not growth at all. Not even labored with child. Waiting on, upon God. Isaiah says to us, to sing, to break forth into singing, into praise. Have a praise party all by yourself, at home, wherever you may be, in the bus or in the tomb. Just thank God. Never mind who is looking or not looking. Amen. It's about you and your relationship with your father. Because God has given you and us a reason. Many are the children of the so-called barren or desolate or childless woman than the married woman. So it's not about those who have gone before you. It's not about those who are, who, are, who, are, who are having it. No, 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 no. It's about when your time comes, God will make it beautiful for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, it may not be your turn. Amen. I see somebody in 2024. Yes, it's your divine turn in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where God, by his grace and mercy, will move you from the back of the queue to the front of the queue in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so God is giving us reasons, amen, to break forth into this singing and rejoicing and, and gladness to have a praise party. He says to us, number one, enlarge the place of your tent. What is the place of your tent? Where do you dwell right now? Oh, you may not break down the walls of your house or your flat, but where you dwell is your thinking. Because you cannot be bigger than your thoughts or your imaginations. How big can you think? How big can you think? Amen. 50 more minutes to midnight, Church of God. To welcome, hallelujah to the Lord and welcome 2024. Enlarge the place of your tent. Where whatever you are on the outside, you were first in that place on the inside. You didn't just buy the house the day you bought the house. You already bought the house in your mind. You thought it's possible. You can't. You went to action and you bought the house. You didn't just buy the car the day you, know, the day you drove it out of the showroom. You bought it already because you convinced yourself, that's my car and I'm buying it. And so enlarge the place of your dwelling. Where do you dwell in your thinking, in your imaginations? Amen. How far can your mind think? What can you perceive or comprehend? Then said, number two, stretch out the curtains. You know, in those days, they lived in tents. So the, the curtains are, are the cloth, amen? Some made of animal skin, amen? The curtains that will use to cover the tents. What does that mean? Your thinking, your belief, the action that you're going to be taking. Amen? It says, number three, lengthen your cords. Because there's no place thinking that, there's no point thinking that you're going to go bigger, go higher. And then when it comes to the cords that you need to tie the tents together, the cords together, they, they, are, they are short. Meaning your thinking, your belief, and your confession, and your action to follow, amen, must all be in line. Your thinking, it begins with thinking. Your imagination for, for 2024, amen, based upon this word that God has given to us. And then, of course, the ideas you have, the, the, the goals you are going to be setting to achieve, oh. amen. And it is that we tie them together, your belief and your confession. Then it says to strengthen your stakes, because you put stakes in the ground, the wood or the pole. And then you tie the curtains to the pole to make a tent or a house. Meaning you have to have strong and deep roots in the Lord, in your God. Meaning you have to believe the word totally because Romans 10 tells us faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Do you believe God? Will you believe God with us? That 2024 will be a year, is a year of divine expansion for all of us. So enlarge your mind, your thinking. 
Believe God. Confess what you believe. Develop ideas. Gather information. And have faith in God. Why? Because expansion is coming. And so I submit to all of us, Kingdom Gospel Church, that 2024 is our year of divine expansion. Because God has told us, we shall expand to the left and to the right. We shall expand to the right and to the left. But we are not just expanding to be in the place like the eagle. Amen. You are going forward, flying high. Because your God does from glory to glory. From strength to strength and from faith to faith. So what does it mean, church? Amen. When we say it's our year of divine expansion. It means, number one, it's going to be a year of supernatural growth. Amen. It's natural. The barren woman. Amen. You know, there's what joy in barrenness? No, no, no. Rather, it's 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 misery, to be honest. Grief and sadness and the pain. But God says, this one is not your natural one. This is going to be supernatural. This is going to be me because your expansion is coming. Supernatural growth. Number two, it means divine increase. So it's going to be a year of supernatural growth, number one. Number two, it's going to be a year of divine increase. Because a barren woman who gives birth has increased. There's fruit. A child or twins or triplets or quadruplets or whatever. Number three, it's going to be a year of strategic relocation for divine alignment. God wants to align us, align you and I with who he is. Remember, he says, I am your, let me go back to, to Isaiah 54 quickly. Verse five, for your maker is your husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. And your redeemer is the only one of Israel. He is called the God of the whole earth. So our testimony, our, our, our lives must be in line with who he is. Our maker, our redeemer, amen. The Holy One of Israel, he is called the God of the whole earth. So it's going to be a strategic relocation, 2024, for divine alignment. Number four, it's going to be a year of divine repositioning for prophetic fulfillment. Oh, yes. A year of divine repositioning. Some of our ideas will change. Thinking will change. Even physical location will change. And as a church, we believe God for a new location come 2024. So it's going to be a year for us of divine repositioning for prophetic fulfillment. Because where you are is too small. So God says what? Expand. He says what? Enlarge the place of your tent. And that is bigger location. Stretch forth your curtains. Lengthen your cords. Strengthen your stakes. And then number five, it's going to be a year of divine alignment for the heavenly call. Align, divine alignment to the heavenly call. Some of us think we are just in charge for the sake of being church. No. When God begins to, to do what he's promised to do, amen, for you and I, amen, it becomes clear there's a responsibility on you for the heavenly call. And you are called to be a witness. That in the sharing or the communication of all of these wonderful things that God has done and will do, continue to do for you, amen, you can reach others for Jesus Christ. So for us in this house, in Kingdom of the Spirit Church, it's our year of divine what? Expansion. Meaning it's a year of, of supernatural growth, a year of divine increase, a year of strategic relocation, not location, relocation for divine alignment. It's going to be a year of divine repositioning because you relocate to where God wants to be for prophetic fulfillment. You have to be where he wants you to be amen, to make his word good. And so he promised you of Israel, the land of Canaan. Well, they have to leave Egypt, live through the wilderness, reposition, relocation until they came into divine alignment. Amen. So a year of divine repositioning for Prophetic fulfillment. So the prophetic word given to Father Abraham came to pass thousands of years later. Amen. Finally, number five, it's going to be a year of divine alignment to the heavenly call. 
You are not just here by accident. There's a call of God upon your life, your family. Who is the Christian you are? Who is the evidence of God at work in, in the world? You are. Who is the one that knows God to lead those who don't know God to God? You are. Thank God for the pastors and the ministers, as we call them, the office holders, the, 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 the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, pastors, and teachers. But you are a minister of God, of God's grace, wherever you are. So as you pray for people, they get healed. As you speak, God backs up your word. Because God has called you into this great call that all of us are in as the body of Christ. Church, I want to close by just suggesting four things that we need to do. Amen. I will expand more on Sunday, the 7th of January, as we go back and revisit what God has told us. Four things I want us to do. Number one, we must believe God. Why? Because 2 Chronicles 20, 20 says so. Number two, what do we need to do? We must believe his servant who brings you the word of God. Number three, what do we need to do? We must believe the prophetic message, the word of God. And number four, please rejoice. Sing and break forth into singing. Start to praise God now because he's telling the barren to start to praise him now. Not when it has happened, but from this moment, you've heard the word of God. You've heard the message from God. So you start to praise him now for what God has promised you and I that he's going to do for us. Let me quickly read 2 Chronicles 20, verse number 20. Amen. To just um, um, close it out. Then we begin to just pray quickly. 2 Chronicles 20 and in verse 20. He says to us, so they rose early in the morning and went into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God. That's number one. And you shall be established. Believe his prophets, the servants, and you shall prosper. And so the servants come with a prophetic message. I have come as a servant of God over this house. I submit to him, to his authority. And I humbly submit to you. So believe the Lord your God, you will be established. Indeed, you must also believe his servants. Jesus said, you believe God, that is good. Believe also in me. He sent me. And so tonight, the Lord has sent me with this word to us. Amen. And so the word is, 2024, is our year of divine expansion. Meaning a year of supernatural growth. A year of divine increase, a year of strategic relocation for divine alignment, a year of divine repositioning for prophetic fulfillment, and a year of divine alignment to the heavenly call. God will not just bless you for the sake of blessing. There's a responsibility attached to the blessing. He told Abraham, oh, I will bless you and you shall be a blessing. There you go. And I will bless you in Genesis 12 and you shall be a blessing. And so when God blesses you, he expects you to, in turn, be a blessing to others. And to use your testimony to bring as many as you can souls into the kingdom. We've got a few more minutes, amen, before the clock chimes in midnight into a new year. Let me remind you, according to 2 Corinthians 2020, four things we must do. Number one, believe God. Number two, believe his servants. Number three, believe the prophetic message. It's a promise. It's a prophecy. And 2024 is the year this word will begin to, to come to pass. Number four, please, shall we begin to thank God now? Shall we begin to bless him now? Sing and break forth into singing. Start to praise God now. Rejoice for what God is about to do for you and for me and for all of us. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We must praise God. We must bless his name. We must thank him for what he has said to us. In fact, a few scriptures here, Psalm 18 verse 3 says, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. Psalm 18 verse 3. So Psalm 18 verse number 3. Psalm 65 verse 1 says, Praises are waiting you, O God in Zion. And to you, the vow will be performed. Let it be that praises are awaiting God in your house, in your heart, in your life. And finally, Psalm 60, Psalm 
69 verse 34 says, let the heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moves in them. So let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And so this, this, this evening, as we move in a couple of minutes into the new year, I want to bless God for your life and my life, that God faithfully, graciously, and mercifully has spared our lives, saved us, redeemed us, all of the demands from hell, from sickness, and from all kinds of things against us. God said no, that you and I will see the end of 2023 and march in victory, in faith, gallantly into 2024. And so now, I would like you to rise up in faith and just help me to bless God that you are at the cusp of something, a transition of time from the old to the new year, from December 31st, 2023, into 1st of January, 2024. And for that, Father God, we thank and we bless you. It's a for your mercy, your grace that has kept us, for your hand that has kept us, for your watchful eyes over all of us, like the blacksmith and the silversmith, Lord, watching us through the trials, through the test, through the temptations, through everything we've been to. And now you've bringing us you have brought us oh, 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 successfully, amen, faithfully, without fail, into 2024. In a matter of seconds, Daddy, we are grateful. Daddy, we bless you. Daddy, we praise you. And the great ego, the Father you are, you spread your wings over us, and you will not allow, allow the vultures, you will not allow anything to come near us. Daddy, you kept us. We are grateful, Jehovah. Mandebo, also go to Gideon. For me, my family, every family and every individual, every person represented the kingdom of God, and indeed all of our friends all over the world who are connected to us through social media, Facebook, YouTube, however they are connected. Father God, we thank you that you kept all of us. We are seeing time change, oh God, from the old year to the new year. Daddy, it's all you're doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. And we thank you for it. And we bless you. And we praise you. And we shout, oh God, thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And I say to you and to everybody that is connected to us or will hear us later, Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Welcome to your year of divine expansion. Your year of divine expansion. 2024 is here. Welcome in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. Come on, join me and give him a clap of him. Whatever you are, bless God. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We made it. We made it, and we made it in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. Thank you, Daddy Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And to all of you, my friends, my family, and members, whatever you may be, welcome. Welcome to 1st of January 2024, your year and my year of divine expansion. Welcome to your year of supernatural growth. Welcome to your year of divine increase. Welcome to your year of Strategic relocation for divine alignment. Welcome to your year of divine reposition for prophetic fulfillment. Welcome to your year of divine alignment to the heavenly core. And I pray as we ride this year, as we travel down the year, may your heavenly call become clearer. May God make it clear what he has called you to do. May you know where he's leading you to. May you know the position he's asking you to take. May you know the, 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 the relocation he has planned for you. And may you come in line in the name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. The Lord bless you richly. Amen. And bless us richly. Welcome to 2024. Happy New Year. Your year, my year of divine expansion. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Father, we are grateful. Father, we bless you. Lord, we honor you. What a, what a word, church, as I prepare to close it. I will speak more in terms of what we need to do. Amen. What we should be doing beginning from now. We are already in 2024. Jesus, we love you. Thank you, Lord. For your goodness and faithfulness. We made it. The devil could not stop us. Because God said you are going to make it. Amen. The enemy could not stop us. Listen, this is going to be an awesome year. God already said it. We've seen it by faith. Amen. He's given us dreams and words. What, what goodness, do, what more do you do we need? All we need to do is just go to work in faith. And let God do what God does best. Expect a year of notable miracles. Expect a year of unimaginable blessings. Expect a year ah, where single doors, double doors, and gates 
of blessing shall swim open to us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. Expect a year <laughs> of where the supernatural has become natural for you and your house in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a year of divine expansion. I keep seeing you. I keep seeing myself. I keep seeing all of us like the eagle wings spread out and flying forward. Amen. Swooping. That's what I keep saying in my spirit. May that be our, your portion and my portion and our collective portion in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Church, I must bring it to a close, this part of the service. Amen. I will continue on Sunday, the 7th of January. Please join us. Usual time, 11.30 a.m. GMT. As we expand and do more about what we ought to do and need to do so that this world will come to pass. But let me also invite you as the new year, we are not we are not ignorant of the, that, that we have an enemy, Satan the devil. And so by the grace of God, from Wednesday the 3rd to Friday the 6th, we have three days of glory, three days of prayer and fasting. I'm not asking for too much. Join us on, on, on Wednesday the 3rd, Thursday the 4th, and on Friday the 5th. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jehovah. Three days of praying and fasting. Every evening, the Wednesday and the Thursday, we'll meet at 8 p.m. online. This is Zoom. You have the details for a prayer meeting for one hour. So Wednesday, the 3rd, 8 p.m., we'll be here online to pray together. Amen. Or fast in the day according to your ability. Whatever you can do towards it. You've heard the word. Pray and fast based upon the word. Amen. Go back and listen to it. Your year of supernatural increase. Divine alignment. Strategic relocation. Come on. You want to be, you want to be aligned with the heavenly call. Pray on those, on those things that God has said to us. And then we meet again on Thursday at 8 p.m. to pray together. So we pray and fast all day, Wednesday the third, all day Wednesday, Thursday the fourth, and then on Friday the fifth. Because it's the first Friday of the month of January, the first Friday of the year, it's our night vigil. So we will not meet on Friday, 5th of January at 8 p.m., but we'll meet at midnight and pray from midnight until 3 a.m. That watch. Amen. So please make it a date with Jesus. Three days of prayer and fasting, the 3rd to the 5th. And then on Saturday, the 6th, we take it easy, you know, relax the body. Then on Sunday, 7th, we are back in church for the first Sunday morning service, family worship service for the new year 2024. I will speak on this thing about 2024 being our year of divine expansion. Church, say, so Jesus always to bring you the world. And I'm particularly blessed. Amen. I consider myself blessed that God has chosen for me to use me to bring you the world. This word should then instruct and inform what we do going forward in 2024. Believe God. Believe his servant. Believe his word. And then start to praise him and to thank him. Because your divine expansion has come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, by the grace of God, I will see you online Wednesday the 3rd. Amen. At 8 p.m. for us to pray together. Remember, Three days of glory. The Lord bless you and yours richly. Happy New Year. Your year of divine expansion. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen.